What's up, dude? It's your boy Happy Chap here. Welcome back to another episode. And looking on this one, we are going to be building the top five Minecraft starter farms that you can build in your world. And these are the five of them here. Now, this is going to be almost like a speed build tutorial thing okay so i'll link all of these farms individually in the description below so that way you guys can check out the farms and if you have any questions you can just go to those videos and you know like i said those videos go in more depth for everything that we do so yeah let's get into it okay so the first farm on our list is going to be a crop farm okay this is a full auto crop farm you don't have to do anything for this other than just plant the materials once and then you are done so let's see what we need here so what you're going to need to bring along is 10 builder blocks seven slabs 47 fences a water bucket a single bed a single composter two hoppers two chests three trap doors and then your crop of choice you cannot use wheat for this because it just simply does not work and then a hoe of some kind Okay, so the first thing you're going to do for this build is find yourself a nice little plot of land like this and then dig out a little two wide trench in the ground just like you see there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to fill that there with some water and place two slabs over the top. As you can see, the water remains there. Then you're going to place down your beds. And then from the side and the end of this bed, what you're going to do is you're going to till out four blocks each direction. Okay, and then fill that whole area in. Okay, once your entire area is tilled out, what you're going to do is place a fence around this whole perimeter. But what you're going to do is you're going to leave an opening on one side here, just like that. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to step out one block, just like this, and you're going to dig out two blocks in the ground. Then you're going to place down a slab in the furthest one out from the farm. Then to the side here, what you're going to do is you're going to dig out three blocks. You're going to place down a chest with two hoppers running into it. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your solid blocks here and you're gonna build out and around the hopper and the hole in the ground. Okay, so it should look like this. Then you're gonna take your trap doors and what you're gonna do is you're gonna place one on the top there. Then you're gonna shift click and place another one in front of that. You're gonna close those both down for now. Then you can take another trap door, place it in the front and then close it up. And what you should be left with is this here. Okay, we will be closing this trap door later, but we'll get to that when we do. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to dig out or remove that block there, place down a composter, and then build these side walls up here, one extra block, and place a slab roof on the top here, over top of the composter and the trap door there as well. So when we get the villager in here, he's not going to want to try and jump up onto this you know, thing of over here and we are good to go. Next, all you have to do is get your villagers in place. Okay, and once your first villager is in place, he should take up the farmer trade because the composter is there. And then what you're going to do is get your next villager down into this hole here. Okay, and once you have that done, what you're going to do is you're going to close up this trap door, exposing only his head, and then you can put a roof over top of him. Now all you have to do is just plant your crop of choice. Okay, during the day when the crops are full, the villager here will start to farm them. At nighttime, the farmer will sleep. And during the day, he will wake up and attempt to share his crops with the villager here. The crops will fall down in between the two trapdoors here, get picked up by the hoppers, and end up in your chest. Okay, but that's it right there. That is your villager-powered auto crop farm. Now let's move on to the next one. And next up on this list is going to be the infamous mini iron farm. Now this farm has been in a number of builds already because of its small, compact, small form factor design and the small amount of resources that it used. We have put it in this video as an essential one because uh, yeah, everybody needs iron. The materials that you're gonna need for this one are 17 builder blocks, two trap doors, three beds, three composters, five pieces of glass, a bucket of water, two carpets, nine walls, five slabs, four trap doors, four signs, a bucket of lava, 28 other pieces of glass, three hoppers, six chests, a cauldron, a name tag, and then as well as three villagers and a zombie. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do for this iron farm is make sure that you build up in the sky at least eight blocks. 
Okay, and once you have your block, eight blocks in the air, what you're going to do is you're going to place down a trap door with a temporary block in front of it. Then you're going to turn around and you're going to place a bed with its pillows facing outwards. You're going to shift click and do the same thing on the trap door there. Then on the back side of the trap door, you're going to shift click and place a composter with two more over the foot of those two beds. Then you place a piece of glass or a transparent block over the back composter here. A temporary block in the middle with a trap door there on top. Place a piece of carpet on top of that trap door. Come to the back side here and build up two more blocks. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come to the center here and place down a water source over top of the trap door there in between the beds. And this is what you should have. You can remove this temporary block under the bed. Okay, but this section here is where you need to drop your villagers in place now. I'll link videos in the description for everybody for how you can do this, and then, uh, yeah, it'll be nice and easy. Once you have your villagers in place, they should all take up the trades from the composters because they are right here beside them. Okay, and then next what you're going to do is you're going to come to the top above them here. And if they are bouncing, just kind of bump into them and then that will stop them from bouncing. But what you're going to do is you're going to place two solid blocks over their heads just like that. With two more on either side, it does not matter which side which you, that you choose. Then what you're going to do is you're going to place down two glass blocks on the ends like this and what you should end up with is a little you know heart shaped thing next what you're going to do is you're going to build up a wall like this which is two on one side just in front of the hole there and you're going to make sure that that is three blocks high in total then you're going to make sure that there is slabs on top of those blocks to make them non-spawnable so nothing will spawn up there then what you're going to do is on around the outside here you're going to place down your walls that we brought with us okay you can remove any corner ones that you want next you want to come to the inside here and on this third block up this is where we are going to place our lava source right there in the center so what you want to do is sign 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 on the bottom and then sign below that one there this one will prevent the water from going down the hole now you can place your lava and then turn around and don't aim on the walls. Make sure you're aiming on the ground here and you're gonna place down your water source. Everything should flow towards that hole there. Now all we have to do is build a little chute in order to capture whatever iron falls through there and bring it down to some hoppers. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to just bring along some extra glass and then on those two back walls there, I will build these down. Okay, as you'll see, there is a hole there, but that is okay because the iron flows this way. It's the back side of the wall and falls down. Nothing ever gets caught up in here. Okay, and basically all you do is you just set up that right there. Three chests with three hoppers going into it. That is three blocks below the farm here. Okay, so once you're all done, everything here should look like this. And then all we have to do is get our zombie in place. So what we are going to do is we are going to place a temporary block down in front of the bed here with a cauldron on the outside of it. And in this cauldron is where you are going to place your zombie. Okay, you do have to build a little like structure around him in order to drop him in place and get a roof above his head. But once you have that done, what you're going to do is just place a carpet on top of him and then make sure he either is holding an item in his hand, which can be tough to get them to do, or you just give him a name tag if you do have one. Okay. Okay, and what you should have when you are all done is something that looks like this. Okay, and at nighttime, the villagers here will attempt to sleep, but because their heads are so close to the zombie here, they will just simply get spooked and end up waking up. Once the villagers have both slept and worked in a 24,000 tick period, I think it is, or 34,000 tick period. And what you should get after a while is iron golem spawning. They will immediately be pushed by the water into the lava there get burnt up and then their items will fall down the hole there into the chest and what you end up with is iron now this farm here averages iron golem farms about every 35 to 55 seconds it's it's pretty good it's pretty good if you just let this thing run overnight you end up with a double chest here full of iron and you know that's not too bad for this little setup here so that is what everything should look like there Okay, I just built that there so that way you guys can count how many down from the, you know, level here the first hopper is. Okay, but that is what everything should look like there. So there's the kill chamber area. 
there's the chute, there's the beds, and there is your zombie. Okay, now let's move on to the next farm. And the next farm on our list is going to be the villager breeder. So the items that you need for this breeder are four beds, a single composter, 13 trap doors, 42 fences, 64 glass, 64 dirt, two water blocks, some light sources, as well as your crop material. Okay, so the first thing you do for this build is build yourself a little 5x5, five five, you know, shoot with a 3x3 three three hole in the middle and make that sucker 5 blocks high in total. Once you have your shoot 5 blocks in the air, what you're going to do is you're going to stand on the end here, okay, and on the block where the villager will be doing the trading, and what you're going to do is you're going to place your beds on the top side there, but on the back side blocks, with two more beds below it on the lower halves here. So the pillows of these beds from the block you were standing on should be away from you. And then you should have those gaps there as well. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to place a trap door over top of those footbeds there. What that does is it stops the villagers that we place in the center here from jumping out onto the feet of the bed. And then you're going to place two more down and under the pillows like that. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your fence and you're going to place it in between the pillows of those lower beds there. Okay. Then place two temporary blocks with your trap doors running into the temporary block on the upper half here. Okay, you can then remove those and fold all of these doors up. Come back to the block that you were standing on and what you're going to do is you're going to build out these sides one more block high. Okay, so the glass should be even with the trap doors now and that is what everything should look like there. What you're going to do is you're going to place down a trap door on top of that one there with two more on the side. These two here are to prevent the villagers from jumping out into the corners there as well. Like I said, all of these trap doors have been placed specifically to stop the villagers from jumping anywhere but in the center here. Okay, and once you have those trap doors in place, what you're going to do is build a two high pillars, okay, around you like that, and then bring the side walls up to the same height. Once you are all done, this is what it should look like here. Okay, so I placed those blocks there for reference just for you guys. And next what you're going to do is you're going to surround this thing in two layers of dirt blocks. Okay, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to fill in the corners there like that, okay? Okay, remember don't fill in the corners here because what we're going to do is we're going to place a block on the lower half of it and fill all of these here with water. So again, place a lower block and then fill with low water. I almost said low Y there. I don't even know why. Once you are done, this is what you should have. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come to the inside here. You're going to place a temporary block in the corner with a trap door above it, or sorry, on the top half of it there. Okay, and if we crawl out, what you see here is that when the villager does come in here, he doesn't have access to, you know, the villagers here, or he doesn't have access to be able to jump onto the beds as well. Now, if you do put these beds in the wrong position, so if you switch these beds around to the front here, the villager up here does have a chance to actually teleport or pathfind down to them, so make sure that they are on the backside. Next, all you're going to do is surround this whole dirt area here with a layer of transparent or you know non-spawnable block i like to use either glass or leaf blocks if you have them available to you okay and once you have that done just surround this whole thing here in a fence as well too next just place a composter in this corner here make sure it has a roof above it like that so that the villager cannot try to jump up on top of it and then your next step is to just till this whole area here and plant your crops once you have your crops in place, all you have to do is get your villagers into this thing and the farm will start to work. First thing you want to do is make sure you get your villager into the farm area here. Okay, because you do want him to take up the composter here or the farmer job anyways. And then your next step is to get your two villagers into that little hole right there. Okay, and once you have that done, everybody should be nice and happy. All we have to do is just put a roof on this thing here. Same thing as the crop farm, once all the crops start to grow up, the villager here will start to harvest them. Okay, at nighttime, the two villagers here on the backside will end up sleeping on their beds. And as you can see, this guy here does not have access to it. During the day, what will happen is the villagers will end up back in their little pods. 
and when this villager here gets enough crops in his inventory he will trade between the two villagers here or will try to attempt to trade with these two villagers down here anyways and once these guys get enough food in their inventory they will attempt to breed with each other or trade between each other once everybody's passed enough between them they will all start to breed and what you get out of the ordeal is a brand new baby villager now all you want to have to do is just put some water down into the pit here so that way the baby villager doesn't take any damage when he falls down but your farm is essentially done and ready to go okay so that is what it looks like there so there's the lower half and then there is the upper half okay now let's move on to the next one next up on this list is going to be the gunpowder farm now this is a pretty straightforward build i did just create this farm literally just a couple of weeks ago and it has pretty much blown up it's a pretty efficient design so the first thing you're going to need obviously are four stacks of builder blocks pretty much two stacks of trap doors eight carpets some water buckets a bucket of lava six glass two hoppers two chests four signs and then you're going to need to bring along two cats as well as some raw salmon in order to make them your pets and get to them to sit but let's get into it okay so the first thing you do for this build is define your pit so build yourself or carve yourself out a little three by two area in the ground and on each side of that pit what you're going to do is you're going to place down a two by two area with builder blocks just like that then what you're going to do is from this outside block you're going to come out one two three blocks like that and then come down so it's five blocks in total you can do the same thing for the other side so one two three place down four blocks to make it five in total and then close in this back side here this is what you should have now you're just going to repeat that same pattern on this side and what you should have when you are done is a shape that looks like this and then just give it a second layer and once that's all done this is what it should look like here next what you're going to do is you're going to take all of your trap doors and you're going to place trap doors on this top half of this second layer here once you have that done this is what it should look like here so again those trap doors are on the top half of the second layer next what you're going to do is you're going to come to the inside you're going to place down three trap doors on either side of this pit here you're going to place a trap door here on the top half of the lower block you're going to open this one up and then this is where you're going to place your cat okay once you have your cat in place all you have to do is just close the door back up and then repeat that process on the other side next all you're going to do is just place your carpets down in a nice little you know two by two pattern apparently a subscriber told me in one of my other videos that spiders spawn in a three by three area so this is essentially the carpet pattern that you want to do so do the same thing on this side here so one two three next all you have to do is just dig this section down here by four blocks and then on the short side here what we're going to do is we're going to place down our water source so that's two water sources on either side and then dig our way down until we get to the end of the water path here okay once you're at the end of your water path here try to make it at least two two things long okay what you're going to do is you're going to dig out an area like this and give yourself a little room to work from here okay come to the outside here place down two chests with two hoppers going into it place down some glass blocks on the back sides of the hoppers there with two more or three more on this side anyways what you want to do is just close this whole area in then what you're going to do is place down two signs next to each other with two signs on the front upper blocks here then you're going to come to the chest section here place down your lava source in this area here and then close this all in now you just got to dig your way back to the surface here give this whole thing a roof and then your farm is set and ready okay once you have your roof on your farm all you have to do is just make your way 128 blocks above the chest here so as you will see we are on 58 so we can go up to 178 and then we'll see this farm start to work okay now we are 128 blocks above the chest here and as you can see we already have creepers rolling in and if we were to just wait here for 10 minutes what you would get after a 10 minute wait period is basically two and a half stacks of gunpowder and yeah you are good to go
Okay, all you want to do is just light up around the farm at night time in order for the spawns to increase, you know, during the night. But other than that, yeah, your gunpowder creeper farm is good to go. Okay, and then the final farm on our list is going to be the ever simple, ever amazing raid farm. Now, this is a very simple build. Okay, all you need is one bed, 11 signs, a stack of slabs, four trap doors, lava, two water sources, 12 pieces of glass, two hoppers, two chests, a single villager, and then a kelp or soul sand elevator if you want to get up and down faster. Okay, but for the first thing you want to do for this build is basically dig yourself out a little 9 by 10 area in the ground here. Then what you're going to do is come to the center here on the 10 long wall. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to carve out a two wide block in the middle here. This is just for reference. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build up a four wide wall like this. And we're going to make that three blocks high in total out of our glass. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to place down two signs here with two signs just below it. Then we're going to place two more up on the sides like that with two more signs in front of those two there and then two more signs okay and then two more signs up and above those there like that next what you're going to do is in this gap here you're going to place down your two lava sources and as you can see the lava stays contained by the signs there next what we're going to do is we're just going to line this whole farm here with some slabs Okay, what I like to do is I actually like to come to just this corner here and then I build three wide like that, leaving a one gap on the side. Okay, so I like to do that on both sides and then I'll fill in the area and then I take my slabs and I run them in kind of just like that. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to come to the center here and you're going to dig down three more blocks and then you're going to carve out a two or three high room that is only you know three or four blocks deep it does not matter and this is where we are going to be stuffing our villager so what we're going to do is we're going to put down a bed and then put a wall up okay then we're going to climb back up to the surface here and that is where we are going to drop our villager down and into okay once you have your villager in place all you have to do is just close up the hole what i like to do is just do a piece of glass here like this so that way you can see him then we're going to go back down into the hole, make sure he is completely covered, and then dig this down at least 23 blocks in total. So one, two, three, four. Okay, once you are 23 blocks down, what you're going to do is make sure you're facing towards the back side of the farm here, okay, and not towards the center. And what you're going to do is you're going to dig in, you know, three or four blocks and just basically dig yourself a nice little room to work from. Okay, once you have the room all carved out, what you're going to do is place two pieces of glass or builder block on the top here with your chest kind of, you know, offset to the left or the right here. It does not really matter. Then what you're going to do is you're going to run your hoppers going into that chest with some trap doors over top of the hoppers then place two more trap doors on the top just like that and you are good to go all we have to do is build ourselves a you know elevator to get to the surface here okay and once you have your areas to get in and out of the farm here all you want to do is just make sure you have a fence on the back side here Okay, and what that is going to do is funnel all the raid members around the farm and into this section here. Now, all we have to do is come to, you know, the pit here, fill this whole back row with water. Okay, and as you will see, it starts to flow towards the middle. Then what we're going to do is we're going to count down five blocks. So one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to place another water source here. Do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. And what you should end up with is a nice flow of water like this towards the center. Now, if you do end up with your, you know, water source in this block here, pushing towards the back wall, what you can do is just step these back by one. So do that and then carve this section out. And as you can see, everything now flows towards the middle. So again, that is just carve these sections out here that we did press in place down your slabs on top and you are ready to go next all you're going to want to do is just place some slabs here on the top and what that's going to do is stop the ravagers from rising up through the lava as they get burnt up here 
what ends up happening is the raid comes in once you do get the effect of bad omen okay as you see the raid does spawn in here let's get a ravager as well okay just so you can see the effects everybody gets funneled in towards the pit here and down the hole Okay, as you can see the Ravagers, they get caught up by the lava because they are, you know, more than two blocks high. They end up getting pushed up and into it, getting burnt down, and everybody just all ends up down, or everybody in their items anyways, all end up down at the bottom of that pit there. So, that's how the farm works. It's pretty efficient, pretty good, and uh, yeah. That is your raid farm done and ready to go. All you have to do is just, you know, get bad omen. As soon as you come within 15 blocks of this, you know, farm here, the raid will activate and then we are in business. Okay, but there you have it there, you guys. That is the top five starter farms that you can have for Minecraft. Okay, so you've got gunpowder, villagers, iron, food, and then as well as like emeralds, totems, and other random bits and pieces that you do get from the raid farm. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll link all of the individual videos from these farms in the description below and i want to thank you guys again so much for watching my videos it has been a pleasure making these for you guys so you know we've got like i said some big announcements coming up in the near future here it is all almost done we've just got some few things to finalize but once those things are all wrapped up and ready to go you will see a video with an announcement about it and uh yeah so thanks again so much for watching the videos you guys and i'll uh, definitely catch you on the next one <laughs> peace